and he'll be making his debut here with a thunderous ovation and a lot of friends and family right in front of him. As you take a look at the tail of the tape, you see Seth Connors just got the five-year year advantage. Pretty much everything else is virtually identical as we get set for our opening bout at BTC9, Luke Hogg and Seth Conner. away from our opening contest of featherweight bout Seth Connor and Luke Hogg and the cage here Josh is at center ice where the Kitchener Rangers play Ontario Hockey League action and our first face off is underway as Hogg gets off with a nice jab. Nice stiff jab lead off the nice left hook for Hogg as well. Well Hogg swinging looks like he clipped Connor a little bit there. Hogg was telling us he works 10 to 12 hour days in the construction field, has five kids, <laughs> and still manages time to train for his mixed martial arts career. Yeah, he, you're in my respect when he told us he had five kids, man. I, I have one, one, and uh, one step side. Oh, oh, and a big jab from Connor, and Hogg is down. The ground and pound from Seth Connor, trying to scramble out of there is Luke Hogg. Connor on top here in the north-south position. This is a bad spot because Seth Connor, pretty much most of his victories on the amateur scene were by way of submission. But looks like Hogg's doing a nice job relaxing, trying to use his feet to wall walk up off the cage. Yeah, Hogg's gonna look to use that cage and kind of look to turn into him. Connor's gonna do a good job of solidifying position here. He's taking his time, not getting too antsy. When you when you get somebody hurt, sometimes you jump on it, you do uh, you get a little too rushed and you lose position. It's always so difficult as well in north-south where you really can't get your feet under you as someone's controlling your head and neck. Yeah, it's, it's a very dominant position. Some good shots to the body come from Connor. Uh -huh. Posturing up and good job to get some shots right to the midsection right in front of us, Josh. Well, Connor's got that knee on belly. He's looking for that far side arm and he, he might get... It's a straight arm bar. He's got the arm. He, he, out. he lost it at the last second as he was going for the arm bar. And now we get to see Seth Connor striking, which is an area he told us he really wants to improve on. Known for being a jiu-jitsu guy on the amateur scene, but now we can see what his striking's meant for. And, and Hogg's right arm is actually tied up underneath Connor's here. Uh, it's, it's a bad spot to me because you can get flattened out and crucifixed even, and, and your head's exposed and you can't defend yourself. So he's, he's doing the right thing right here. He's turned into him. But, oh, looks like Connors might be setting up a Darce choke here. Looking for the Darce is Seth Connor. Oh, and that looks tight. There and there's the tap. Seth Connor. Beautiful Darce choke. Gets his first professional mixed martial arts victory against Luke Hogg in very impressive fashion. 
with a great jab that took the fight to the ground and then showed off his excellent jiu-jitsu. Yeah, very, very good display of, of jiu-jitsu by Connor. You know, he, he took his time. He hurt him on the feet, didn't, didn't rush in, didn't get too wild, solidified position, and sunk in that nice, beautiful dart choke and finished the fight. Well, you can see here on the replay, Josh, Luke was really letting his hands go before that jab got on and Hogg went to the ground. And it's always tough, especially making your pro debut against a guy like Seth Connor, who's a brown belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Yeah, and see how he had that arm trapped underneath it. That's kind of what, what put him in trouble there. He didn't really, couldn't turn off the belly down. He was stuck. And Connor sunk in that nice star choke and, and got the tap. Well, it's unfortunate for Luke as he had a lot of friends and family here, but this is your journey in mixed martial arts. You know, sometimes it doesn't go as nicely as you want it, but he's obviously got himself a, a venture here with BTC, and, and he'll make the improvements. Yeah, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a learning curve, right? You get in here, obviously you want to start off with a win, of course, but sometimes it didn't happen. It didn't happen for Seth Connor, but he gets his first win here tonight. We'll make this one official as we throw it in to our ring announcer, Pete Trevino. Great respect shown between Connor and Hogg. Two guys that are very classy gentlemen when we spoke to them, Josh. Really uh, great young men. Yeah, and even uh, the Wayans they were joking around with each other. And when we spoke to them beforehand, they said they like each other, actually. You know, it's a shame that they got to punch each other in the face, but that's part of the job. Well, Munda Jiu-Jitsu off to a great start here, 1-0. and oh. Have a couple other fighters. and. For the, for the London, Ontario crew, which is in a full effect, especially in our main event with Jesse Ronson, the best known London, Ontario native. That's a great start in a, in a building that they've had a lot of success on in terms of junior hockey, but now they'll make that transition here into mixed martial arts. 